Hi, this is Rod McLeod from Chorus Logic, and I'm going to show you how to get started with Celtic Pipes 3. So I'm going to do this at a very basic level, um, how to download and install Celtic Pipes from that level. I'm not going to go into building up a score to this point, just how to get going and trying it out. So first thing you need to do is go to our website. Um, you'll find it at www.celticpipes.com or .net. Ignore this index too here at the moment because we've this website hasn't yet been released, but it will be soon, very soon. So if you want to get going, uh, try an evaluation. Press the try button here, and you will see. Um, instructions for each platform, so whatever yours is, have a quick look at the instructions. And um, there's some hints there. You might run into the odd problem with virus checkers and you know, smart screens, etc. But our downloads are all checked and signed, so um, don't worry about any malicious software included. There isn't, despite what some checkers may say. And for Mac, it's the same. So, if you want a quick look at the release notes, it's more or less what was said in the um, What's New in Celtic Pipes video. There's uh, quite a long list here, with very little detail just uh, highlighted. As you can see, I'm on Windows just now. I would use Mac, but uh, I have a performance problem with it at the moment. But I'll try and talk you through the Mac procedure. It's uh, very similar to the Windows one. So to download, you just click on the installer, and you can either save or run the MSI file. I'll just run it for speed. So this is what you get on Windows, I'm afraid. There's, if you click on this, you will see it is published by us. It's an MSI application. It's, you're getting this message because it doesn't know about Kelter Pipes 3 because there's not enough users. Um, hopefully that will change in the, in the future. But just run anyway. And you'll see, if you click on the icon, you'll see the installer starting to run. So just follow the, the wizard, Next, press the next button read the agreement. I've read it before. <laughs> and choose the default location. Install. So now you'll see it is Celtic Pipes you're installing. It won't, if this wasn't um, digitally signed then you wouldn't see our name here. But it is. It's a perfectly valid application. Yes. And it will install. So you're finished here. So that's Celtic Pipes on your system. So to find it in Windows, you just open up the Start menu and look for Course Logic. That's us. So Celtic Pipes is under there, and you'll notice this new icon here. Now on the Mac, um, the procedure is the same. You click to download the installer. It'll go into your download area. So open up downloads. There'll be a DMG file in there. Double click and it will mount and an installer will run. So just follow the installer instructions and at the end of it, it will appear in applications and it will have the same icon here. So it's the applications, Celtic Pipes. So this is Skeletal Pipes running for the first time. So if you have files to open, please do so if you want, but otherwise just cancel. And when you cancel, you should see a whole lot of sample files here. And if you click on any of them, they, they will open, but you will see this message. And you have to activate the software. So, if you want to evaluate, 
put in your email address. So what am I going to do here? Just going to put in a pretend one. Now when you do this and press OK, it won't be able to find you in our database. It'll come back and say, don't know anything about you. Do you want to evaluate for 30 days? So you will need an internet connection for any of this to work. So if you want to evaluate, click yes. If you don't, just press no. If you click yes, it will send an activation code to the email address you entered. So you can't just write any old email address. It doesn't work like that. It has to be you. And you have to find the access code and put it in here. And when you do, you will start an evaluation. I won't do that because that was a rubbish email address. But if you don't evaluate, sorry, if you don't um, either evaluate or activate each time you press a file, it'll list same window will pop up. So I'll, I'll put in something I've entered before. Um, it should recognize me. So there's no more complaints. I open a file and the way to check you're activated is to go up here, help, activation, and it says, yep, you're activated, you've got a license, and that's your email address, and it's valid. Um, if you're doing an evaluation, it'll say um, evaluation activated. No, don't worry about that. You will have 30 days, and it will tell you many days you have left. So that's you started with Celtic Pipes. And one thing I should mention is that the activation key sent by email can take a few minutes to arrive. Um, and also, it's essential that you check your junk email because very often it does go into that folder. So um, make sure you do check. If you need any help, um, please send us a help request um, from our website. So that is via the support link up here. So you can get help. Um, Hopefully you've read the support notes. They're, they're here. But we'll assume you have. I have read the support notes. So then you, you can fill in a help request. Um, I'm going to add some more fields here to, to make it um, to differentiate between feature requests and help, etc. But this is the way it works at the moment. If you submit that, we will get it. We'll, be, we'll deal with it as quickly as we can and get back to you. So hopefully that's you sorted with Celtic Pipes. Thanks for listening and enjoy the software.